Welcome to this program in the Our Finger Lakes History Series. I am Seneca County historian Walter Gable. The topic of this program is how were the Finger Lakes created? Although I am certainly not a trained scientist, I think what I will be sharing in this program will help viewers to have a better understanding of how the Finger Lakes were created. Now to begin to deal with the main question for this program, how were the Finger Lakes created? First, let me state that our Finger Lakes are old, natural, and not man-made. Before actually providing a lay historian's attempt at a scientific answer to this big question, let's deal with how American Indians answered that question. Before there were European American or white settlements in the Finger Lakes region, this area was occupied by tribes of the Iroquois Confederacy, a Haudenosaunee. In this visual, you see the location of these Haudenosaunee tribes in the Finger Lakes region, especially the Seneca, the Cayuga, and the Onondaga. According to Ross W. Kellogg, an Ithaca expert on history of this area, an Indian legend has it that the Great Spirit, wishing to reward the Iroquois for their devotion, placed a portion of the happy hunting ground in what is now known as central New York. Simply stated, the Great Spirit created the six largest lakes when he laid his hand on the land to bless it. His finger imprints were then filled with water, hence the name Finger Lakes. So if you look at this map of the main Finger Lakes, you can easily visualize how they are like outstretched fingers. You need to remember that way back then, the Iroquois did not have accurate maps or the aerial technology like what we have today so they didn't account for the other Finger Lakes in this legend. Now for my lay historian attempt to provide a scientific answer to the question, how were the Finger Lakes created? For 325 million years, during the Paleozoic era of geologic time, the Finger Lakes region was part of a vast inland sea. Gradually, bed after bed of sand, mud, lime, and salt accumulated and were compressed into rocks reaching a total depth of about 8,000 feet. According to geological history, the formation of the Finger Lakes began more than 550 million years ago during the Pleistocene Ice Age. During this Pleistocene Ice Age, glaciers crept through the area and carved deep slices down into the land. About 200 million years ago, the land heaved upward. At this time, drainage in the present Finger Lakes region flowed south through the Susquehanna system. Over the next 100 million years, the uplifted land was eroded into a plain, which was then disrupted by additional uplifting. Continued erosion produced deep north-south gaps in the land. In this visual, you see that about 60 million years ago, Conditions began to develop that led to the Pleistocene or Ice Age about 1.6 million years ago. This visual shows the areas of the present United States that were glaciated during the Pleistocene Age or Epic. There were four different periods of glaciation. The peak glaciation occurred almost 22,000 years ago. You will note in this vis visual that just the very southwestern tip of present New York State was not covered by ice. 
The last ice age retreated from New York about 10,000 years ago. These glaciers were more than one mile deep of ice, obviously creating enormous weight and pressure at the bottom of these ice sheets. So as these glaciers moved, they scoured the underlying surface, including rock and gouging river valleys into deep troughs. As these advancing glaciers proceeded south, running parallel to the V-shaped valleys of rivers running north-south in the present Finger Lakes region, as shown in the visual at the left, the river valleys were carved into deep U-shaped troughs, as shown in the visual at right. This is a process known as glacial scouring. As the last glacial sheet retreated northward about 10,000 years ago, the retreating ice sheets left debris piles called recessional moraines in the valleys. In many cases, these recessional moraines functioned like dams, blocking streams and causing the river valleys to fill with water and become lakes. Also in time, there was erosion of the stream beds of the streams flowing into these finger lakes, causing nearly every such stream to have waterfalls, typically within one half mile of the finger lake into which the stream flowed. Some of these waterfalls are very tiny in height, while Hector Falls, for example shown at left, emptying into Seneca Lake, is 165 feet in high in height, and Taganic Falls, shown at right, emptying into Cayuga Lake, is 215 feet in height. This gouging of the streams entering into these Finger Lakes also created several glens, like the famous Watkins Glen near the south end of Seneca Lake. Much of the unique natural much of the unique beauty of the natural scenery of the Finger Lakes area owes its existence to the glacial invasion of the Pleistocene epoch. I hope you have enjoyed this segment in the Our Finger Lakes History Series. <laughs>